Welcome to the American Vos Educational Project, our journey for we the people. This multimedia project is a documentary film along with classroom materials as an educational companion for both teachers and students. This is the story of how Texas has always been on the forefront of Latino politics in America. San Antonio is the cradle of that journey. This film follows how, over the past 100 years, San Antonio has been the most significant city for Latino politics and for Latino identity. The identity being their voice or voz in American society. Voices like Emma Teneyuka, a 16-year-old labor activist. She spoke out at a time when neither Mexicans nor women were expected to speak at all. LULAC, the League United of Latin American Citizens, is the oldest and most widely respected Hispanic civil rights organization in the United States. The American GI Forum was initially formed to aid World War II veterans of Mexican descent who were denied medical services by the United States Department of Veteran Affairs. San Antonio civil rights attorney Gus Garcia won a landmark case in the United States Supreme Court, Texas versus Hernandez. The court ruled that Mexican Americans and all other racial groups in the United States had equal protection under the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. Henry B. Gonzalez argued in 1955 to desegregate swimming pools in Texas. And in Congress, he fought for desegregation in a 36-hour filibuster. He rode in JFK's motorcade in Dallas in 1963 and was one of the few Southern members of Congress to vote for the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and 68. Willie Velasquez, the dynamic social activist and voting organizer. He founded the Mexican American Unity Council and the Southwest Voter Registration Project, who have registered over 2.6 million voters and have won 87 out of 88 voters' rights lawsuits. He challenged the voting system in San Antonio and changed it forever. In 1995, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Jaime Martinez was raised in the city's west side by his migrant worker grandparents. He organized marches and protests in solidarity with local migrant farm workers following the Cesar Chavez movement in California. The two activists became friends before Chavez's death in 1993. Jaime spent his life dedicated to fighting for the rights of the forgotten people. And into today, the Castro brothers, Julian and Congressman Joaquin, who are on the front lines dealing with today's most complex and divisive issues in America. Immigration, voting rights, abortion, COVID, energy and big oil, policing our communities and health care for our families. Texas is the nation's largest battleground state and Hispanics are the silent majority leading this search for justice, this search for progress, and the search for the American dream. Over the past 20 years, what it means to be Hispanic in America has been evolving. And nowhere in our country is this evolution more visible than in San Antonio, Texas. This is a success story for the American experience.